Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to take a look at creating fur inside Unreal Engine 4. Now Unreal Engine itself doesn't have a fur plugin so to speak so there's no way of simulating um, fur. However what we can do is we can achieve a fur like effect using materials. So let's begin um, and we're going to start off in Photoshop actually we need to create a texture so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the Control and N key which will allow me to create a new document and from here I can go ahead and uh, give this a size so I'm going to go 512 by 512 and I'm going to press OK now what we want to do is we want to fill the document and I'm just going to fill this with black from here I'm going to go to filter noise add noise and I'm simply just going to add some random noise and press OK. From here we can go to filter adjustments and go to black and white. We could have also chose the um, monochromatic option within the actual um, add noise in order to do this. And then from here we need to go to image adjustments and we need to go ahead and change the levels and we want to increase the levels from the far right and we want to bring this all the way over so we get something like this, so we get this black and white image. From there, we can go ahead and uh, save this out and we are ready to go. So I'm just going to open up Unreal. I have already saved this texture. So you can see I have this um, texture already imported. And I also have a, um, a uh, diffuse color here. This is just a tiger pelt. So what we want to do is I'm going to right click, I'm going to go to new uh, material and I'm going to call this M underscore fur and we can open this and from here what we want to do is we want to bring in our texture so I'm just going to go ahead and pull both of these in and I'm going to place this tab right back at the top here. Okay so before we begin what we want to do is we want to change the blending type to mask and I'm going to go ahead and change the clipping amount down to, uh, let's see, around about 0.9 or so. So we can, first of all, we can plug this into the base color, which is going to give us our color information. And we're going to be using this soon. And I just want to go ahead and fix the uh, specularity here. So I'm going to press 1 on the keyboard and set the metallic to 0. And I'm going to press 1 again. And I'm going to go ahead and set the roughness and I'm going to set this down to, let's see, around about 0.8. So there's still a little bit of roughness in there, but not too much. Okay, so first of all, we want to invert this. Okay, so let's go ahead and type in 1. And we're going to get this 1 minus node. And we're going to plug this into the opacity mask here. So let's go ahead and plug this in over here. And we can plug this over here and we'll get this um, like this. Now, before we do that, we actually want to multiply. So let's go ahead and multiply this. And we want to multiply this by a uh, Fresnel. And we can plug this in over here. And then we can change the 1 minus over here. And what you can see is we'll get um, this sort of funky look. I want to go ahead and change the exponent. So I'm going to press 3 here. Uh, one, sorry to bring up a constant one. I'm going to set the exponent um, to three. Let's just delete these. There we go. So this is what we have. So this is um, the, the very basic nodes. So what we want to do now is achieve the uh, fur like effect. And the way we are going to do that is with what's known as a bump offset. And um, what that will do is it will offset based upon this uh, map here. So let's go ahead and type in bump. And uh, once we've done that, we can go ahead and we can plug the UVs of this into the bump. Now, we're going to get this um, error message. And uh, the reason for this is because it has no height yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to multiply this and we want to put the uh, multiply into the UVs over here there we go and we want to multiply this by a uh, value that we're later going to be used to tile so 
I'm going to do is I'm going to press 1 and I'm going to type in 16. And uh, what I can do here actually is I can right click this, convert to a uh, parameter, and we can parameterize this. So let's just call this um, for, we'll call this fertile. Okay. So we can see how this works in a moment. So to see how this works, if we control C and control V this, and we put the height into the uh, red value, you see that error goes away, and we do actually get some something that somewhat looks like um, fur. Now it's not um, complete yet, so what we want to do is we want to offset this even further. Okay, so in order to do that, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and add another bump offset, and we want to plug this into the uh, coordinates. And again, we can take this value and use this as the height value. So we're going to put this into the red channel. Now, we also can set the actual height of how far this um, goes out. So I'm going to press and hold one over here. And I'm going to put 0.03 maybe. Something like this. And I can parameterize this. So I'm going to right click, convert to parameter and call this for height. And I'm going to put this in over here. I'm going to put this in over here. So this just gives us control over the um, actual height value here. So um, moving on from this, um, we need to go ahead and uh, we can add a U for a uh, UV here. And this is uh, what we can do here is we can plug the coordinates into the UV tile. And um, we want to pull out this value all the way over here. This is our tiling value. And so we can multiply and we can multiply this by the this by that. There we go. So this gives us a little bit more control. Oops. And let's see. Finally, we want to add another multiply in here. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to multiply we want to multiply this bump offset by this uv and we also want to multiply this by our value over here and this will give us a little bit more control and as you can see we are actually getting something that looks uh, something similar to fur okay so so with that said um, and with all that complete, what we can finally do is we can go ahead and parameterize uh, the rest of these values. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly do that. So I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to parameterize the uh, texture here. So I'm going to right click, convert to parameter, call this for color. This will um, ultimately be driving the color. And uh, we can right click and we can convert this to parameter. We call this fair noise, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Control C and Control V, and I'm just going to replace these values. So let's just quickly replace these like this. And what this will give us is a parameterized version. of all these. I think that's it. There we go. So once we've done that, we can go ahead and we can save this. And what we have built is a very basic firm material. So we can go ahead and we can apply this to our mesh right here. Looks like I've applied this to the wrong, wrong thing. Let's clear this. There we go. Select the, um, the sphere, apply this. And so you can see we have our fur. Now we can, if we'd like, go ahead, create a material instance. We can apply this. We can pull this open and um, we can go ahead and uh, play around with some of these values. So let's scroll down to, let's see. See the scalar parameters. 
So we have the value here for the for the height. We could change this to maybe 0 0.05. This might give us a a different um, look here. There we go. So we just get a fur that looks a little bit stronger. So we can get pretty close. So you can see that we see the fur, and um, everything looks uh, pretty good. So. That's the very basics of creating a fur material. I'd like to thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video.